Hear that? That is the sound of official Christmas on the radio. You know who you are. <laughs> Right, the sun is out. We're all in good spirits. We've got a, a Wish version, so you know like the shopping thing. You buy something that's like real, but you get a knockoff version of Wish. It's that's the equivalent of girls singing on radio. It's not Mariah, she's trying her best, but it's the Wish version. Yeah, you can, like, no point in showing the radio. Anyway, um, so... This morning, we've just built this, Craig's on this bad boy here, on a six inch wall, and then we're actually going to tie it in. Usually we just leave wall ties out, but I think it'd just be stronger if we put the 100 mil in. That's how it should be done really, yeah. isn't it? You know, but on these new builds, you know how it is, they just throw these houses up and walls up. But... So, we've built this, and... God, who's that then? It's one of the trees, isn't it? Um, basically, the blocks are wet and the mortar's a bit wet. So there's no point risking it. So that can go up. We know we've got a concrete lintel there, concrete lintel here, no drama. We're waiting on the lintels for this one, that one, that one, and that one. They're not here yet. So, um, but what we have got, right, this, so this lintel here, cavity lintel, is going on at 2.1 standard height. And we've got an internal steel beam, and that on the drawing shows that it's going in at 2.1 as well. However, the difference between the lintel 2.1 and the finished, uh, the first floor is 2.4, um, you've got 300 mil difference here. Now the steel beam that's going on there isn't 300 mil. I need to measure it. And I think it's like saying now it's 218 or 2 something. I should probably do this video after I've measured it. But anyway, there's like a slip to go on top of the steel to take the floor joists which I think is rubbish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift the steel beam up. So at the top of the beam is at 2.4. So I don't have to do any stupid cuts. But then I need to work out my pad stones, work down to my pad stone. So you, watch this space. That's what I'm gonna do now anyway. Um, Craig's lifting that up and goes on the outside. So. Nothing exciting, nothing is exciting at all. So I've come to measure these steels now, okay? And again, fun of games. So, looking at these ones here, I think, oh yeah, what are these then? Measured the height, yeah, 20, well, I think they're 203s, but we're gonna say 205, yeah? And I measured them, and they're too short, so I'll put the old then I noticed there they are the ones underneath see them there however you see these big boys here oh they're big big and heavy and they are on top of the ones that we need so somebody's you know obviously not had their porridge in the morning and not been having a thinking cap when they were stacking these so they were like, yeah, sod the brickies, we'll just put the ones that they need first underneath these. God, they must weigh a bit then. God, how much do they weigh? I don't know, but they're going to weigh a bit. So I think I'll have to get the forklift out, move all of these out the way first. Uh. To... Right, okay, so the client came here like an hour ago and said that these lintels that we need aren't gonna be delivered by the end of the week. 
So, um, we've packed up now. I'm leaving Joe and Craig here just to finish off two courses. Uh, to get it up to Joyce here. We've bedded the pad stones for this. Uh, Joe's done that. She haven't got a lintel for there. So that job I was meant to do on the Thursday. Um, we're going there. Me and Sean are going there now. <clears throat> it's literally like three or four blocks to put in. That's it. So yeah, off to the next shop. Jungle Book. Crystal Maze. That's what I've just been doing. Hybrid Jungle Book and Crystal Maze. Climbing with time constraints. Couple blocks turned into literally Ninja Warrior. Ah! <laughs> uh, righty. Because there is no lintels on that other job. And, uh, well, we're not screaming from any on that other job where the roof's not ready on the timber frame houses. So I just thought I'd take this time. <laughs> uh, take this time to get some work done at home. Ah, Craig, lad. Right, I'll show you the job. Do you want to come have a look, Craig? Yeah. See what the crack is down here, so. Um, I've got these bricks here that uh, when the old site I was on was coming to an end, yeah. I'd been there for five years, they had like about 30 pack of brick left yeah. over, yeah. yeah, and they weren't going to carry on using that brick on any of the else yeah. of their sites, yeah, so I asked the site manager because he was they were selling them to someone. And I said, is it alright if, uh, you know, I've been a, a loyal bricklayer yeah. here. He said, yeah, yeah, fill your boots, he said. So I knew I was going to build this wall. So uh, I built that fence down there. I think that was on the first video we did, wasn't it, Sean? Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. So in a nutshell, we're going to take this fence from here today. Yeah. And we're going to build from that post there. So we'll probably put a corner block on that post. Yeah. Just use that or clamp a profile with a dory yeah. or something like that, yeah? Take this from here. And then that post there, and next door neighbour said for me to keep this in. Keep this post in here. So we'll do the same. We'll put a profile there with a dory. So first I go to the builder's merchants now to get stuff to do concrete footing, yeah? Um, do you guys want to start taking this fence down? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that was done. Lift straight off that. Yeah, it's just you, you've done. You did the old fence, didn't you, Sean? So, right. Yeah, beautiful. Spot on. Ton of aggregate, eight cements. What a beautiful day for it. So the fence is down. Uh, I'll show you where we've put it. There's quite a bit of it. So we've got the posts out. We've dug like a little trench. And we've done it, put a corner block with a string line on that post and this post. I don't know if the parallel because eventually what I'm going to do after this wall, brick wall has been built one brick thick I'm going to put a lean-to roof on there and make it into like a nice little long thin shed because it's just like dead wasted space all these new builds now they've got all these like little sides here now if you were going to put a brick wall there you can just have like a little lean-to roof and just have it dry. You can put all your crap in there, your tins of paint and all that. So 
uh, what we've done is make the mix pretty dry uh, stronger than usual but you know quite dry and tacky so I put a laser level now just put a line here this works out 300 mil we'll put a line on over there uh, transferred it oh my god Get ninja warrior again so yeah so I'll just dip down now and just get it roughly you know where it needs to be so easy peasy lemon squeezy right see so concrete is done um we're gonna lay on this now this tamped it tap compacted it as much as we could uh so but what i've done is i've taped for parallel and that was like say about 940 and this was like one oh one meter and for 300 right here though so um against this so what i've done i've brought this out here and also just in case the bloke next door you know if i was gonna hello oh don't tell me you've got any fed oh hold on i might have some so if i was gonna put it like that you know it's not it's not ideal for him is it so if i bring it out to there on the 50 mil it's, it's you know it's, helps me for parallel and uh, just better for everyone in it okay get some water now we'll get going there you have it first course is down uh, we're gonna do an English garden wall so could I do it every three courses you put a head of course or five or seven I think five that we're gonna do. So we ran out of Feb and uh, funnily enough I had some special Feb in the kitchen but then that ran out. We <laughs> didn't have any of that so I had to go to B and Q to get some of this lovely jubbly stuff here. Worst I wouldn't say it's the worst Feb round, but it's it's not highly ranked. But today it is highly ranked because it's better than nothing. Right, so we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna start doing the um uh head to course. I am flagging right now, so uh, I've ne I never ever ever drink these, yeah? Uh, I'm a black coffee guy, but a few of the lads live on them, so uh, it's like them uh, Tuscan readers. <laughs> I'll turn into a Tuscan reader once I start drinking these. Um, you got them queen closers there, Sean? Yeah, be alright, you know. Yeah, right. right. What is that? So you got one and you got one. Oh my god. Whoa. Well, it's dark. Probably even four. Four? What time is it? Four? Four. Okay, so I don't think you see properly, but uh, looks pretty good. I can't really see. I'll show you tomorrow, but uh, yeah, I've had a decent day considering, you know. No, we've had a decent day. So Craig and Joe are going to St. Gavney tomorrow, and it's just Sean and me here. Um, Jack and Ed are in that stand on a job on their plot, so. Yep, all good in the hood, man. Good morning. Right. It's going to be quite interesting today. So this wall that we built yesterday. I mean, by any standards, it's... What was that bit of point in this one? Oh, no, it's all good. Yeah, by any standards. 
is a quality job. Yeah. Right. Okay, so the only thing is the guy next door knocked on the door last night. Basically wasn't happy with where I'd put the wall. Now I didn't really think I just made it parallel here yeah? because this side on my side is where the footpath is, his footpath is on the other side. This is kind of like a like a dead area basically, yeah. Like how I had on the other side before I broke into the bank anyway. So you see that this is the boundary, yeah. Now my brick is too far over his boundary. And what he wants is that. So I've got to move the wall over that much on this side. Well, all the way. Uh, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not life and death, but on the same hand, it's pissed me off. <laughs> I say it pissed me off, but you know, it's just not ideal. So um, I'm going to speak to him now and see whether we can come up with a different solution. Now he thought we were doing a single skin with pillars, but I said because this is facing brick, there's a face on both sides, and he understood. Um, but what I, I said, what if I do it single skin now with pillars where it is? He's saying that pillows will be too much on his side. So, I mean... Um, okay. So, what I'm thinking of doing then... Now, well, I'm going to speak to him and say, listen, why can't, why can't we keep... He's happy with that side. Yeah? Even though the measurement from there to there is smaller and there to there, that side's actually 30 mil bigger so, I don't know um, but he wants to put a gate there he wants as much room as possible, fair enough so, possibly could do is have it double wall as it is, then he's happy up to and then bring it into a single skin then, you know, there's no pillars I don't have to take a load of this, well, the whole thing down so I'm going to speak to him now I'll let you know what the outcome is Right, single skin with brick pillars on my side. So keeping keeping the face on my side, I'm just taking rid of his side of his face. So he's gonna have the back face of the wall pointed up. Yeah. That's the outcome. Fantastic. Sean, Sean, yeah. come here. Shall I do a time lapse? I did a time lapse of us taking the wall up. Shall I do one of us taking it down? So, nearly there, just taking these edges off now and I've got a good technique going on, look. Satisfaction guaranteed. So it's like, it's like doing a little dance in it. Oh. Well so, so I'm going to use, so I'm thinking about it, yeah. Trying to turn a negative into a positive. So I reckon the cost up to yesterday, a cost that is, was like probably like 350 quid. So with paying the other bricky, the labourer, um, a ton of sand, probably like 50 quid red sand, 40 quid, like th late end, back end 30s, but when you put the VAT. So I've got two ton there, 
I probably need another turn now. So probably total about 150 quid on sand. Um, but with having to make it single skin, if I had carried on on the double skin, obviously use double the bricks on you. Double sand, double cement, everything. So even on taking a, like what four courses off, four, four courses maybe off. Um, going forward, you know, it's you're using half the stuff, aren't you? Really, so. It's actually going to work out cheaper. Uh, I have lost time, but you think about it. I've lost time yesterday. Yes, yesterday. But only anybody out there watching this that's got some of these are thinking about buying these. Yeah. What a load of rubbish! I'll tell you the reason why. <clears throat> well, up here in Wales, the cavities are bigger because it's the weather's a bit more extreme but see that 340 now if your cavity is 150 mil you can't it's not big enough is it if your cavity is a 325 for the insulation now you want about 100 mil insulation 75 to 100 all the cavities that we're doing now here are 150 mil. So what we ended up doing is putting our string line on the inside of the cavity, which is rough to be honest. Um, I've barely used these. Yeah, they've been stood on and everything like that, but they're 80 quid a pair. Rubbish. Right, we're back in St. Givney. I've just come here to book in this uh, house that we couldn't finish because the roof is undone, the scaffolders haven't taken the boards. They won't take the boards off until the scaffolders finish, yeah? So, and these lintels for all these, yeah, were wrong. So they've been delivered and they were actually 10 mil smaller and then these which are 150 mil um bigger they're they're the same ones as the other ones so so craig and joe are going to build a corner each year uh gonna build a corner each and run in all right craig you know what, Mike? Morning. right i'll catch you later yeah to show you where the roof is there up to so in what two weeks yeah i said listen i'll be gone for a week they said yeah we'll finish uh, doing this but they've only done half the roof just to show you shouldn't be doing any work in here until the roof is on because of the settlement we've got the door casings in Stairs in, plasterboard did first fix. It's ready for skim. The roof's not even on. Naughty. It's the first of December, which means it's officially Christmas. Well, for me anyway. And. My number one Christmas song is this one. See the faces. Oh, oh life's good, man. It's uh, packing up time and uh, we're all done. Done and dusted, as they say. So I've just cleaned the path, scraped it anyway, then I'll get some more of this stone to go in here. 
just raked out the mortar. It's quite handy really because all the mortar that we took you know from the wall that um, we take down it's filled there quite nicely so I haven't put a brush over this yet so I just need to give it a soft brush now. The sand is wet you see because it was the bottom of the bag so the guy I spoke to the guy next door he wants to take it up another course of brick which is ideal and then what I might do is put uh, I don't know where the metal frame yeah and then like a perspex roof yeah and then this um, have like a, a gate obviously but use the same battens and then cut the gates out this guy over here next door he's done one here and I can't kind of like that Oh, he's done it horizontal. Yeah, so I might do something like that. Something like that, it's quite nice, isn't it? But I, I don't know either. You, know, you can see through that, can't you? So, I don't know, something like that. I'll get it painted. Uh, aluminium and all Like, that would be the perfect one, you know, having like a proper aluminium frame and glass. And But I mean, how much would that cost? You're talking probably two, three grand at least. Uh, no thanks. Righty. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Oh God, what a crash. Back of mind, Friday, I've been, it's like half ten now, I'll just show you what we're doing here. We're going to do, carry on the slab and down here. Down here today, I've got the cables here. Uh, I've been to the both of the jobs this morning to, well, Sean went to one of them to stack out whilst I was having a meeting on the other one. So, we're ready to roll, aren't we? Got my slurry. Gonna give me clean water and I want my knee pads so I said uh, I had a turn the bag turn bag in the van that's empty half of this morning hope it hasn't damaged the uh, springs having a turn in the back overnight looking for my knee pads and this is what I've got <laughs> You're not welcome anymore. My van's a fucking mess. Don't know where my knee pads are. Oh well. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got one. Yeah, currently sums up my life. Not. Let me see the front then. Oh, it's not that bad. Probably end up just driving this to uh, the place to get a new van and just say, Listen, can I just move my tools into a new van? <laughs> ah, Jesus Christ. Right, so we're on the slabs. Basically, right, I put this in this eight core drain all the way from the far end of the extension down here, all down here with a fall on it, and there was a the gully here, so it's one of these new fancy trees that left the, uh, the eco drains, whatever, fan left the thing on it, the plastic stuff. It's like a nice shiny stainless steel, I think. Get this one out. It's like nice, is it chrome or something? I don't know. So, put all them in, and they're bloody expensive. Uh, with a slight fall going down, so it works out nicely stoned up, done my slabs and obviously I've kept everything to go into the eco drain um, with obviously falling with the eco drain now um, 
issue I've got here is the sill on this pipe and uh, got my big level out here so I'm just so I fight this through here now oh. it's gonna be about Gonna be about, about there, something like that. So it needs to go down. So what I'm trying not to do is get a puddle anywhere, especially around here, where everything just to fall straight into that drain. So, um, and this has just been going fairly level, is it? Oh, with a slight fall down. So I'm gonna have to, in this area, make it slightly more severe um I don't know how much I'm gonna have on this end though anyway lovely jubbly we'll give it a go you also, you don't do ah, right this next one you're gonna have to be a bit of a uh, super cut super cut super cut ah ah uh. Right, come on, let's psych ourselves up now. Are we gonna get this in? I think so. No, are we gonna get this in? Yes. Yes, come on. Push now, how does it go? Always, yeah. Is it the end, yeah? Yeah. That's looking good, that lad. Okay, uh, hold on. I'm going to get that lad. Oh! <laughs> okay. Right, we are happy as Larry's over here. It's just gone one o'clock and we're out of the rubbish, really. So, done this. We fall this way when i say fall you know it's slightly more than what it was and falling this way is again is plenty of fall there so all i've done is basically as it was coming like this i've just eased it so it's not as severe coming down now you'd never notice it but on the level you do and when you're down here laying them so Done these cuts, done these under here, and it's worked out beautiful. Absolutely be beautiful. It's like as if I tried, but I actually did because when I was setting the eco and setting this here, I made sure that um, I had the level for this sill. So all I've done basically is just gone too severe over there, and then when I come to here, I had to go up. Also, you notice that this slab here runs like this so i've got four and a half now when i built this um i i made sure that it was 900 well just over 900 but i actually made it perfect because uh, i started with it over there i don't know if you can see but I started with a fall in the corner there and I paralleled this off this um, to have my cut and a half all the way so not just a pretty face all right it's getting dark it's half four Friday and we've just finished this one here in the window ah go on lad so here we are. Boom. Get in. Hey, don't put it there. Well, yeah, but I want to park the car there later. Um, sorry. We're working tomorrow, so uh, I'll show you what we're doing tomorrow. Actually, I'll show you tomorrow. It's uh, the fire pit we're going at tomorrow. So. Hi. Right, I bought this whacker here. 
I don't know if it's a good buy, but definitely, yeah, definitely a good buy. I don't know if it's the best buy I've ever had. Blue Mag. Brand new. 550 quid. All in. And the guy had it in like this weird little shop on Anglesey. Anglesey Mowers or something, I don't know what it was. Sells lawn mowers, but he had one of these. Phoned him, said, sell a place. Yeah, sound. I'll be over in a minute. When all was back of all everything, brand new, never been used, and he goes, uh, right, oh yeah. So first thing he did, I, I've never started it. The guy said, so I was like, okay, here we go. Straight away, yeah. Every time I've had it, switched it on, yeah, or oh, pulled it, it's started. First time, choke on. Is that a few on now? Yeah, I did. Oh. Didn't start first time. There you are, look. Right, so just had my leftover takeaway pizza and I'm ready to roll. Right, so done my bed. So I used the uh, trowel. I haven't even put a level on it yet. I'm just basically, you can kind of tell there. It's there, do you know what I mean? Um, Right, I'll just get them down. Oh, also, how I'm going to start this, right, is half bond, because the other ones up there are half bond. Um, and it works out so that, I think half bond's like here somewhere. So I've got, you know, a 150 cut or something like that, maybe. Over 100 mil, which is all right. Uh, yeah, and then just figure out what we've got over there and carry on working through. Then from there, that half bond, I'll start the lower one on another half bond. So when you look down, it all looks like it should be like that, yeah. So we come to the edge here, I've got my chief worker with me. Bobby! So he's 100% uh, speeding me up here. He's making sure that everything I'm doing is going quicker. So what I've done is just put that there. Corner. Oh, and that goes against the brick, like this, and then there you go, I've got my angle. <laughs> so the week is finished, we're ready to go out to get chips and chicken nuggets, yeah, so hope you enjoy, catch you later.